Stephen Evans was a sixth grader here at the time. Now he is in 10th grade and he and his family are still speechless that this incident even happened. This video shows former substitute teacher Brian Bakika putting his hands on then sixth grader Stephen Evans in 2018. Evans' lawyer says the heated situation escalated after Bakika asked Evans and another student to come out to the hallway. Their class just returned from lunch and the instructor was having trouble getting the two to quiet down. I got a call home that uh, there was an incident at the school that was having to do with my son and for me to come up to the school as soon as possible. Stephen's father says he never got a chance to see the surveillance video until they got an attorney in 2020, two years after the incident took place. Ben Lynch represented the family against the district. The lawsuit accuses Bakika of grabbing Evans by the wrists and pushing him. The Evans family still feels the emotional impact today. I was pretty hurt. I'm still just going through, you know, my emotions and my son. He going through his emotions. We talk about it a lot. Des Moines Public Schools and Bakika were able to reach a settlement of $25,000 for the family. Both Bakika and the district evenly split that cost. To file this lawsuit and pursue action um, was really brave of them and it, it sent a message to the community and it sent a message from Robert to his son that this type of conduct is not to be tolerated. The Evans family feels this moment is also for those kids who may have been in a similar situation and didn't speak up about it. Stephen's father says no matter what obstacles children may encounter in school, don't let them determine their future. I want them to know like they don't have to be scared to go to school and they don't have to drop out or they don't have to do none of the negative part but to keep their head up and stay focused. That's right. So the district did issue a response to the settlement saying, quote, Des Moines Public Schools continues to deny liability in this matter, but felt it was the best interest of all to settle the case at this point in the litigation. Mr. Bakika stepped down as a substitute teacher following the school's district's investigation, end quote. And Bakika is no longer licensed to teach. Reporting live in Des Moines, Lauren Johnson, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.